this is Francis with Winning Solutions Inc. and I'm back with another free tutorial for Microsoft Access. This one is for the enhanced version of our football equipment tracking database, which I also did a video for, and if that's the one you're looking at, you can find it on WSI's YouTube channel. So, just like always, the first thing I'm going to do is add some personnel, because they're the most important part of any business. So the first thing we're going to need is a coach. So we're going to name him John Doe. I'm just going to dummy up some details for him uh, so that they can be there when we go to look at him later. Okay. Fill in most of the fields. I'm not going to worry about filling all of them in. Like I'm not going to do division. I'm just going to call the team the examples. Uh, mobile phone number. Just dummy one up. Okay. Example address, example city, fake state code, okay, you can still say USA, all right, and an email. Okay, well, uh, you know, for a football team, the coach isn't the only person who matters, so I'm also going to add a player. Okay, and this one's going to be named John Smith. Uh, he's going to be older since he's meant to be old enough to play football. So let's say he was born in 04. Okay. Again, fill out these fields real quick. Just so they'll be there later. Okay, example address two, same city, and an email address. Great, so now that we've got him made, we can just click close and he'll still be there, which is what we're going to check. We're going to back out so it refreshes the tab. Then we're going to type in John and hit search. As you can see, both of our people are here. We can click through. It's got the information. They don't have any equipment history yet because we haven't checked anything out to them. Um, so uh, that's the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make some equipment. Okay, so we're going to click add new equipment. And then I'm going to make a helmet. We're going to call it category one. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, I'll leave some of these blank that I'm not going to know. We'll call it a large helmet, uh, make it brand new, put it in location one, and we'll say we acquired it at the beginning of the month uh, for $50. I don't know how much football equipment costs. Okay, and it's still brand new, so we'll leave it with the same value. We'll say the condition's great, and then we're going to hit save and new. We're going to put some shoulder pads in here. Okay, same category. Uh, also large. Also brand new. Same location. And we're going to have acquired it on the same day. Because it's going to be for the same player. Uh, again, we'll just say we spent 50 bucks on that. Call it a day. Also in great condition. Excellent. Okay, we're going to add one more item just so we can check something out to the coach as well. Uh, just like in my last video, I'm going to add in a tackling sled. Okay, we're going to put that in category two. Uh, it's going to be older. We're going to say it was made in 2010. Uh, it's going to be location two. And we'll say we just acquired this last Friday for $250. And that it's worth $200. Okay, in good condition. Excellent. So now we're just going to click close. Okay, and we're going to uh, close this one too. Because we could search for those individual items and pull them up and look. But just to make sure they're in, we'll go to the reports tab. And we'll go to all equipment and we'll open report. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the helm of the shoulder pads and the tackling sled all successfully added. So we can back out of here. Okay, <clears throat> so now 
we're going to use one of the enhanced features of this particular database template, which is the check in and out form being here. We're going to click on it, and as you can see, it says select or scan personnel. On the full version of this database, you can have it uh, generate barcodes for your equipment and for your staff so that you can easily just use a hand scanner uh, and read their ID card or a barcode stuck on a piece of gear and it'll automatically enter them here to make this process easier so we're gonna go to the coach first okay and we're gonna take the tackling sled and then you just have to click check out and that's a done deal okay so now we're gonna add the gear to John Smith because if he's gonna play ball he's gotta be protected we're gonna add the helmet check out and then we're gonna bring him up again and we're gonna add the shoulder pads we're gonna check them out okay so now that we've got them checked out we're just going to roll back over here to reports and we're going to look at all equipment first so you can see it's all still here and it shows you who it's checked out to so if you just want to see how much equipment you have that's perfect but if you want to know who has the equipment that's another report we can do we can go to equipment by borrower we can click on that and as you can see it separates it out shows it to you so that's real easy we've got uh, a good uh, number of available options if we go back into the personnel tab and we pull up John Doe and John Smith, we can click on them, we can look at current, and then we can see what he actually has. So he's got the uh, that tackling sled checked out as of today. We can do the same thing with John Smith. Okay, so let's back out of here. And now one of the, uh, I would say, more important features is the maintain lists section so you can go to categories and for example you could say uh, protective equipment uh, field equipment and weight room equipment so now when you go to add a new item these fields will be available and I'll show you that in just a second I think we have a good range of wear and tear options, condition options. You can change them if you want to, or you can add more. Uh, location, we can do, you know, high school, junior high school, and let's say field house. Okay. And then position, you've got coach, player, staff. You know, you could add another one if you wanted to and have a manager. Uh, that is an option, uh, you know, athletic trainer, just whatever you got to do. So it's very customizable, and it makes a big difference, and I'll, I'll show you that right now. So we'll go back into equipment, and we're going to add another item. Okay, so in this case, let's say we're going to add a new uh, bench press. Okay, so we can come to the category. We can click weight room equipment. Fantastic. Okay. Year made. We'll make it brand new because that's easy peasy. Location. Well, that'd be in the field house. Uh, owner. We're going to make John Doe since he's the coach. Uh, we'll say we acquired this on Wednesday the 13th for $250. And that it's worth $200 thanks to depreciation. That it's in great condition. Okay. Then we'll close that out that two reports okay and then we can pull it back up and hold on, I should have refreshed this page okay let's just pull up all equipment and as you can see uh, the bench press is now categorized with the new information and the new location this is available to you right now it's not checked out so well, you know why don't we go ahead and go do that so we'll go over we made him the owner so John Doe uh, bench press check out equipment and then just for one last look we'll go back to equipment by borrower open the report and there you go John Doe has the bench press and the tackling sled and John Smith has the shoulder pads and the helmet. When they turn them back in, you can check them back in and recondition them. We saw that option earlier. Uh, 
it'll just help you keep a good idea of what your inventory is and what kind of shape it's in. So I've been Francis with WSI. I hope you found this video to be both informative and entertaining, and I hope you have a good one. Thank you.